Claus, can you guess the song? That's right, Twinkle Little Star. I know what you're thinking, it may not make you a rock star, but it's a popular song and you cannot argue with that. Now, um, Twinkle Little Star has been, is a melody that has been around forever, even Mozart has written that song, well he's not written it, but he's played it and he's made some great piano variations on the theme. You should listen to that. I cannot put it here because of copyright reasons, but it's definitely worth a listen. Look it up. Let's go on to the uh, music sheet and go over it, see what's happening there. Okay, let's take a look-see. So we can tell that the song is an A major right here because there are three sharps. F, C, and G. The other thing that we can see is that it's a four-fourth time signature because that C means four-fourths. It's another way of writing four-fourths. And let's go over the uh, measures. On the first two notes, you see some strange symbols on top of the note. And the uh, first symbol on top of the first note means that it wants you to start with the uh, square part of the bow. And that means a downstroke on the bow. We start with the open string A right here. And then the next symbol that's on top of the next note is an upstroke. It looks like the uh, tip of the bow right there. And the uh, numbers on top of each note is the uh, fingers you should use, one, two, three, and four. And zero means that it's the open string. Another thing that you may notice is underneath the uh, first notes and on top of the other next two notes that are upside down, you can see like a little dot. And that dot means spiccato. Spiccato means that you have to jump with a bow a little bit. This would be an example of spiccato. And then on the uh, half note right there, you can see that there is a line on top of the note. And that note, that line means staccato, a strong bow stroke. That's a staccato. So technically exaggerating this, the way it wants us to play is like this. But you may have noticed that I did not play it that way in the beginning because I like it better how it sounds played normally. And that is the beauty about music, that you can take a song and make it yours, make your own interpretation of the uh, song. So let's go on, let's go note by note. We have the uh, first two notes are open string A's, then we go to our E string, and now we use our first finger to play this note. And this is an F sharp. Here we go back to the open E string. And then we use our third finger to play the D. We are on the uh, third measure right now. Our second finger to play the uh, C, and the C is sharp, so it goes right next to the D. Then we use our first finger to go to the B. And finally, the open A string. So the uh, first four measures would sound like this. Now we got the uh, second part of the song, and it starts with an open E string. Then we use our third finger for the D again. Right next to it is a C sharp with our second finger, and then a B. And that B is longer because you can see it's a half note. And here it repeats again. And now the uh, theme that we played in the beginning repeats. Let's jump over to playing this on the violin with a metronome, shall we? 
Let's slow down the song to 88 beats per minute and I'll give you four ticks to start. Great job. I will play the uh, piano part now, still slow, 88 beats per minute, and I would like you to play along with Minimi. Are you ready? Let's start the metronome. <laughs> Let's jump to 120 beats per minute. Are you ready? Here we go. Practice the song, play it. There is no shame in playing the song. There is a lot of shame, however, in not being able to play the song. This is the foundation of your violin playing. I wish you all the best, best of lucks, have fun playing, and most importantly, have a great day.